up y'all Jimmy coming you guys with another video before getting to the video as always make sure to rate comment subscribe and when you guys hit subscribe please make sure you guys hit the notification button getting right to the video I will be reviewing a shoes that I don't even know if I talked about on the channel I feel like I might have mentioned it here and there maybe once or twice but I've never done a review on them I don't think I've done like an upcoming sneaker release on them but they are a shoe actually a new model from Nike that came out I want to say in April or or May of this year so very new model very new shoe and whether or not they really fall with the current trends that's kind of more so for you to this side because I will say they are in the realm of like trainer sneakers like runner trainers and I know that was kind of a trend in maybe like 2014 to 2016. We're kind of past that right more into like lifestyle, like everyday shoes and things like that. But nonetheless, this is a very dope shoe and very reminiscent of a high pair of Nikes that I think all the colorways are going for at least 500 and up. You know, if I'm mistaken, I know the gray pair and the black pair are going for like crazy right now, but there's a couple of other multicolor colorways that are going for you know like four to five hundred like i had mentioned and the pair master reviewing isn't even an actual colorway that nike's drop this is a nike by you edition these are the nike waffle ones i mean clearly you guys clicked on the video so you guys just know what the shoes are but nike dropped two colorways already actually maybe three i think there was like a tan pair a black pair and like a purple fuchsia pair but those are really dope and surprisingly i believe the tan pair and the black pair might have sold out when i tried to get them initially so i went to nike by you which i believe is available now they were sold out for a little bit like a month and a half or so but if you guys are interested in recreating the shoe you guys can do so on nikebyu.com and again if you guys are interested in copying the same exact colorway please feel free to do so i'm not going to feel any type of way if i see someone with these shoes that's the whole point of me making this video making these shoes and showing you guys right it's just to really give you guys inspiration and maybe if you guys even want to wear the same thing there's no problem with that at all but getting right into the review here is the box that the shoes come in like i said they are a nike by you so isn't going to come in your traditional orange or red nike box but rather than this white nike by you box size tag reads nike by jimmy these are a size eight and then of course for all these nike by you's they have a picture of the shoe right there finally get into the shoes i know i have been beating around the bush a little bit on this shoe but i'm really excited to show you guys the shoes they are the first time this might be the first nike by you video i've seen on these shoes and maybe the first ever for this colorway so really excited to show you guys because here are the shoes so like i said very reminiscent of honestly i could see sakai and nike dropping something like this these are very similar to uh, the shoes nike has done with sakai specifically the waffles i believe i think those are awful waffle trainers i'm not too sure what the exact model on that shoe is as you guys can see on the back it has the ridges you know just kind of like that extra detail that is very similar to the sakai pair but just looking at the shoe you guys i'm gonna go into a full depth on just all the details of the shoes but just an overall look like i mean like the colors the materials basically just everything about this shoe is just so fire to me and i really think if you guys are looking for a new casual shoe to wear this is a good alternative i'll see when you're rocking these there might be a good chance that you're the only one that's going to have this shoe at least for the most part like maybe two out of ten people are going to have this pair and if you do a nike by you custom there's a good chance that you're going to be the only one with this colorway another thing to mention looking at the shoe there's a couple of inspirations that I can see on this shoe. Clearly with the shoe name being Waffles, the overall theme of the shoe or overall inspiration is the Nike Waffles, of course. But this tongue right here, this tongue has to be basically inspired off of the React Element 87s because I have a pair of those and they are basically identical. There's a little mini swoosh there and I believe there's also a mini swoosh on those React 87s. Even though I know those aren't the first shoe to have a mini swoosh, I'll say these shoes really remind me of the React 87s, but also they remind me a little bit of a Nike Cortez, Nike Waffle, of course, Sakai with all this detail on the back. I don't know, there's just a lot of different details, different aspects of the shoe that is very interesting. So I will say it is a nice breath of fresh air 
to see a shoe like this just because, I don't know, it's different, you know, like we're so used to seeing Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 4s, Air Jordan 3s, Nike Dunks, which don't get me wrong, are super nice shoes at the end of the day, but you get a little bit tired of seeing everyone post about the same shoe, wear the same shoes. So in my opinion, whenever I see something a little bit different like this, it gets me pretty excited. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'll get into the outsole. Like I said, full colorway was specifically chosen by me. I forgot exactly what each of the colors were, but I'll try to describe it to you guys as I go through the review. If you guys are interested in making the same shoe on the bottom, I chose basically Basically the tan bottom and at this part here you guys will see there's a little detail it says established in 1972 and a Nike swoosh this right here I believe I chose like a lilac purple I thought it was a cool little touch of color that's very subtle very low-key and just on the bottom of the shoe but my overall inspiration and theme of this shoe was really keeping it muted keeping it neutral keeping it almost like all of the one same color that's the reason why I went with this color scheme here. But then moving on up, you have a white midsole. I believe there are a couple of other color options for the midsole, but I decided to go with white. But the midsole isn't completely white when you go to the back portion. Nike by you does give you a color option for this portion right here. This plastic material does have a glossy finish. Whether or not they have like a matte finish or different material, that I'm not too sure of. I don't really remember. But this right here, I chose the same tan color that went on the outsole of the shoe. And you guys can also see on the inner portion of the shoe, it says established in 1972, Beaverton, Oregon. And it says NSW Nike Sportswear waffle one with a swoosh right there on the left hand portion of the text so very very nice shoe you guys just from the outsole going to the midsole there is just a crap ton of detail on this shoe and i forgot to completely mention the nike by you pair was like 140 with tax and shipping and everything so on the price here and for a runner or a trainer but i'm telling you guys i personally think it's really worth it and when you move on to the uppers of the shoes, this is where it gets very interesting just because there's so much going on and not in a bad way by any means. So I'll say the main material that is on the shoe is this mesh material. Um, it isn't like a hyper fuse or anything like that. It might be, and I'm just you know completely butchering that and telling you guys the wrong thing, but it is see-through. You guys can see my finger right there. And this was very similar to the React element 87s i believe that's the name of that shoe where you could see through you know if i was wearing white socks you could see white socks i'll say that the see-through portion is only right here on the side and not in the front the front itself has like this cloth covering that is attached with the tongue that covers your toes which is nice right because you don't want someone to see all your toes and all that so i'm glad nike decided to add this cloth fabric right there and it also is ventilated to give you some breathing and of course you know nike is going to hit us with those small details right there on the inner portion i have a white swoosh and also the cloth on the chose on the inside is the same tan color i chose for the outsole there is that small nike swoosh right there and on the back portion of this mesh material, there is another swoosh right there on the back in white as well. Very subtle detail, like I said, you guys, that swoosh on the back is actually covered by this suede material right here. But this hyperfusion material goes crazy from the tongue to the toe box, that little mini swoosh. It's a very versatile, comfortable shoe that's easy to wear. And then on your toe box right here, on your eyelids, and then on the back portion, you have like this almost, I want to say it's almost like a rose pink suede. I forgot what color I chose exactly for this, but to me it has almost like a pink hue to it, like a pink tannish hue. I mean, you guys can see on camera right there on the toe box portion, there is a hit of 3M. So very nice small touch of detail that Nike could have omitted from these shoes. But and one last thing to mention about the suede portions is that the quality on this is extremely nice. I don't know if it's just these Nike by you pairs or if the retail pairs or actually the general release pairs actually feel like this, but the quality on the suede, on the leather of the swoosh is just absolutely fire. And that brings us onto the next part of the shoe, which is the swoosh. So again, I chose a very neutral color that goes with the whole shoe. I went with a tan leather swoosh. I think there is different material options for the swoosh, different colors, of course, but. You guys see on both sides it has a tan swoosh 
very clean i do love how like the leather actually sits on this mesh material right here there's just something about it it just looks i don't know like very sleek very clean this whoosh really pops out in my opinion. And last but not least, you have your tan laces, your tan flat laces. I will say sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of these flat laces that come on these general releases. But this right here is really nice. I'm um, say it's one of those flat laces that are gonna stick. Um, their shape is gonna stay. They're not gonna get too loose. I don't know, like just some of the flat laces Nike chooses to go with sometimes is questionable. And if it's not questionable, it's just not my preference. But this right here, I feel like fits the shoes, fits the vibe. It's a good length to where you feel like you don't have too much laces or not enough. But yeah, for 140, you guys can get yourself a customized, almost one of one pair of shoes, unless you guys do the same colorway as this, which like I said, if you guys love this shoe enough or think it's that dope, please feel free to do so. When they come in, send me a picture of them because I would love to see how they turned out. But next up, I have an on foot of these shoes right here for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the on foot. I did a video or I did a pair with shorts and I did a pair with longer brown pants. The brown pants were a little bit baggier and I don't know if I would necessarily wear them with these shoes. But I wanted to show you guys how they look with pants as well. Let me know what you guys think about these shoes. Are they worth the 140 or the extra 30 bucks to make them custom, you know, custom made to the color that you want? Um, you know different materials and things like that i think you can choose different materials if i'm not mistaken for the shoe but if you guys are going to make a custom let me know down below in the comments what colorway you guys are doing message me on instagram with the different colorway you guys have made and it's going to wrap up the video and until next time i'll catch you guys later peace